whenever we approach literary works we have to keep in mind that we are going to read experience of someone or many blended with imagination the rough realities though unpleasant may find place in a work of literature let us go into the text before that let me inform you that the link of the first class is in the description box what did we discuss in the previous class nomida she came to their bedroom on the third floor to collect dirty clothes the washerman was waiting downstairs she got a letter from ajit's pocket that was addressed to her really it was a letter from her mother it had come 3 days back ajit didn't even mention it to her she became very very angry reading the letters to nomida was a habit of ajit nomida had often warned him not to do that normally all the letters to nomida were from her mother requesting money there is no need to read letters from nomida's mother but sent a money order was the attitude of ajit now let us continue the discussion of the story nomida's had hands low with the shame and the insult of it so some time ago out of anger and grief nomida forbade her mother from writing to her on postcards she thought that from then on she would try to send her a little money whatever she could pull together in secret so this was what came of letters in envelopes too forbid it is the present tense of forbid ask not to do something pull together means collect since nomida was not an earning person she didn't have much money in her hands ajit her husband used to read the letters on postcards sent by her mother and sent money to her mother though it was a good deed from the side of ajit his unpleasant comments hurt nomida always so she asked her mother to stop writing on postcards and use envelopes she hoped in vain that ajit would not read the letters in envelopes in vain means without the expected result or without success she thought that she could somehow manage to save a little bit of money might be from the amount given by ajit for the household expenses and to send her mother that money suddenly nomida flames into anger at her mother why why does she keep on begging like this why won't she let nomida keep her self respect her dignity no this time she will write and tell her mother clearly i can do any more don't hope for anything from me nomida's anger is towards her mother now nomida was fed up with the regular request for money which she calls begging here from the side of her mother she decided that she would tell her mother that she would never send her money right then ajit steps into the room after finishing his leisurely sunday bath 
Nomida's sharp indignation at the insult, simmering all this while, seems to want to dash itself violently against him. Nomida roars out, When did this letter arrive? Literally, in a relaxed manner. Indignation, anger provoked by an unfair treatment. Simmer of water, stay just below boiling point while bubbling gently. Thrilachu mariga. Dash, strike somewhere with great force. Roar, a full deep throat cry of a lion, tiger, etc. Garjikiga. Nomida's anger towards her mother then turned against Ajit, who just entered into the bedroom after a very relaxed bath. Ajit glances at her obliquely, estimating the magnitude of his error. Another handful of cash for this, he had thought, and decided not to give the letter to Nomida. He was going to tear it up and throw it away. He has made a big mistake. Not that Ajit is going to feel abashed about that. Glance. Take a brief or hurried look. Obliquely. Indirectly. Abashed. Ashamed. Ajit looked at Nomida to know the seriousness of the problem. When the letter had come three days back, he then thought that, Oh, I have to send a money order, a bit of money to Nomida's mother. Only that. No need to give the letter to Nomida. And he had decided to tear it off or throw it away. And now Nomida is angry. Still, Ajit felt that, Oh, I made a mistake. What was the mistake that he felt then that he didn't throw the letter away? Was he ashamed of reading Nomida's letter? No. Was he ashamed of not giving the letter to Nomida? Not at all. But he felt that he made a mistake that he didn't tear it and throw it away. As though trying hard to remember, he says, Letter? What letter? Oh, yes, yes, indeed. There was a letter from your mother. I just hadn't got around to giving it to you. What is the meaning of got around here? Be able to overcome a problem successfully. So here, I just says that I was not able to give you that letter. See, really, something blocked me. So, Ajit is trying to find out some silly excuse for not giving the letter to Nomida. Why hadn't you got around to it? Why? Why? Answer me. Why hadn't you got around to it? What a nuisance, Ajit says. I had forgotten. Why else? Liar! Nomida hisses like a snake. Ajit was just presenting the issue. Insignificant, so silly. The letter was not of any importance. It was just a letter from your mother. And uh, I missed to give that to you. So you need not make it a big problem. Was Nomida happy with his explanation? No. He went on arguing. Then Ajit says, what a nuisance. What is nuisance? Someone causing or making inconvenience or trouble. Now Ajit revealed the real problem behind this issue. That he had forgotten to give the letter. Was it the truth? No. Nomida hissed like a snake 
liar you liar liar means a person who tells lies nomida is now just like an angry snake who hisses at its enemy why are you saying whatever comes to your mouth don't people forget no they don't why did you open my letter this charge ajit tries to scatter to the winds what if i opened it my own wife's letter ajit was a bit shocked when nomita called him a liar but still he regained his balance and told nomita oh you should not speak like this see whatever you think if you speak it out it is not fair don't people forget things nomida was in the peak of her anger and she said no people don't forget but they pretend that they forgot something ajit wanted to show that this charge didn't affect him and he tried to scatter or throw away the charge into various directions saying that see i have every right to open my wife's letter what do you think is a husband permitted to open the letters emails whatsapps everything of a wife should he respect the individuality of his wife yes a husband should respect the individuality of his wife and the wife should respect the individuality of her husband so no one is anyone's boss both are equal but here ajit speaks like a boss oh i am your husband i have every right to read your letter that's what he says be quiet be quiet i tell you for what reason should you open my letters haven't i told you a thousand times not to ajit doesn't fear nomida's anger he feels a row so he smiles an affected smile and says if you are forbidding it then it's a definite something shouldn't i make sure that no one is passing you love letters in secret nomida unleashes or freely expresses her agitation her anger against opening her letter by ajit but ajit he was not moved or shaken by nomida's anger but there was a slight fear the fear of a row what is row a noisy quarrel he was afraid that someone would overhear their quarrel and it would be shameful for him so that was his fear so he smiles and tries to smoothen or soothe the situation was it an honest smile it was an affected smile what is affected smile a smile without any sincerity a fake smile but he was sure that nomida would not be calm so he continued what did he tell oh nomida if you are asking me not to read the letters if you are forbidding me from reading the letters then there is something definite there that means it is sure that something is there something wrong is there 
then he revealed the wretched secret in his mind that was doubt doubt against nomida what was his doubt he doubted that someone may pass love letters to nomida to his wife was it a happy thing for nomida to hear that her husband doubted her not at all it was a terrible insult so she exploded stop it what a common vulgar man you are after this it is not possible for ajith to smile his fake smile any longer now he to picks up the poisoned knife he says is that so those who whine day and night and hold out their palms to their son in law they are the high class people a dung picker's daughter becomes a queen and so so what is here in this paragraph nomida explodes nomida felt terribly insulted by the comment of ajit he doubted her he doubted her love nomida lost all balance and she is now showering bad words against ajit common vulgar man what is common tara tani tara vulgar bad ajit was shocked and he lost his smile that fake smile so he started showering all possible insults upon nomita that's what he said the poison knife it's a figurative use it metaphor is used the heartbreaking words of ajit and nomida are metaphorically depicted as poison knife ajit mocks at nomida's mother saying that she is a person who whine day and night what is whine cry hold out the palm means beg so ajit says your mother she cries always begs for money and she is a high class person your mother is a dung picker what is dung chanagam if you have a cow you need not go out and pick the dung so you don't even have a cow you are that much poor and you are calling me common man and you are high class that is what ajit says shut up nomida yells their room is on the third floor that's a blessing otherwise with that scream everyone would have come to look shut up ajit arose out what shut up i'll do what i want what i please what will you do can you do anything the poison knife the sharp words uttered by ajit really hurt nomida she felt a terrible insult and she yelled what is yelling shout in a loud sharp way she yelled shut up a wife asking her husband to shut up close your bloody mouth can ajit tolerate that no he also roared and the terrible battle is now on did anyone of their house hear that sound hear that screaming sounds what is a scream 
a long loud piercing cry expressing extreme emotion or extreme pain that is a scream no one heard that cry why because their bedroom was on the third floor of the house since ajit's ego was hurt ajit challenges nomida i will do anything i like what can you do you can do nothing you have no other way but to obey me nomida was not ready to accept that slavery what is slavery adimattam so she didn't want to be the slave of ajith she argued back i can't i can't do anything almost panting nomida pronounces each word clearly you want to see if i can do anything and immediately she does something that is astonishing she grabs ajit's matchbox that is lying near his cigarettes on the table and fish she lights a matchstick and touches it to her sari nomida is panting with anger what is panting kidakya she was going to teach him a lesson what did she do she took the matchbox lights the matchstick and touches it to her sari that was really astonishing what is astonish surprise is it the proper way to react no my dear children you should never do any such things because sometimes it may cost your life we should never think that asha purna devi was glorifying nomita's action of burning her own sari but it was the helplessness of nomida that she could punish no one else but herself did the sari catch fire instantly it flares up the very fine actual of a wealthy wife's sari what is actual it is the most beautiful part of a sari there is the decorated end of a sari what do we mean by flare up a sudden bursting into flame aale kattuva the very next instant ajith have you gone mad he says and jumps to her side and grabs the burning pants and slaps it between his hands and puts out the fire ajith never expected such a move from nomida's side he was so afraid he jumped towards her and slapped the burning portion of the sari between his hands and put out the fire otherwise it would have been a great tragedy and to tell the truth now he is a little afraid he looks fearfully at nomida's face sees a fire burning the bright blazing red he doesn't have the courage to put out that fire by slapping it between his hands so he tries to pour water on it ajit was afraid he then looked at nomida's face not with anger but with fear nomida her face was burning red with anger 
Did he slap her on the face? No, he didn't have the courage to do that. Though he slapped the burning part of the sari and put the fire out, but he didn't have the courage to slap on the face of Nomida and put out her anger. He was seeing Nomida like this for the first time in his life. With great difficulty, he attempts to speak normally. You lose all common sense when you get angry, don't you? A woman and such anger. Oof. Who knows what Nomida would have said next. But right then, her niece, Rini, steps into the room. Immediately, she says, piercingly, So, Kurima, how much longer does the washerman have to wait? If you don't want to give him any of your clothes, at least tell him that. For a second or two, Nomida is still, perhaps recalling the washerman's face, waiting for her downstairs. Then she picks up the dirty clothes and starts sorting them. She says in a calm tone, Go, tell him I am coming. I am bringing the clothes. Sudden entry of Rini, the niece, changed the entire situation. Nomida gathered herself, came back to her normal sense and there entered the battle. Do you think that an argument can be won by someone? Philosophers say no, no one can win an argument. But it will surely make a change in the thought process of the arguing people. They will internally change though they are not willing to accept that they are wrong. No one will be ready to accept that they are wrong. Now we saw one phase of Nomida, the exploding nature of a matchbox. Now there is another phase for matchbox, a meek, calm, cool face. That face of Nomida we shall discuss in the next class. Hope you enjoyed our session. Thank you. Wait for the next video and be safe. Bye.